Hello everyone. Today we are going to make a ghost face effect, which we will use when creating some eerie atmosphere. First, we need a ghost face texture and its mask texture. In mask texture, we have the whole face and its jaw. The B channel is not used here, only the R and G channels are needed. You can download these textures for free on my Patreon. They are free assets provided to us by Epic and can be applied to our UE5 project. Then let's take a look at this material. Our focus in this video is on this material. First, the material's detail settings, a basic translucent mode, and let's see the text scored part, the default text scored and a distort effect made with water normal texture. Here is the engine's water normal texture. Then mask R and G channel. We have talked about this in the previous video. Overlay two channels can create richer distort effect. The UV tiling of the normal's text scored is 0.25 and 0.5 respectively. Panner speed is 0.1 and 0.3, and the text scored of the shape texture is the default. Then we also added a dynamic material parameter to control the intensity of the distort in Niagara. Of course, the distort effect can also be used as a normal setting. Because this material has refraction, we will use normal. Next let's look at the time part, we use sign to output the loop value. Also add particle relative time here, which is the remaining time of the particle's lifetime in Niagara. When the remaining time of the particle is 100%, it will output zero. When the remaining time of the particle is zero, that is when the particle is about to die, it will output one. We can use this node and lerp to create animation. Let's try it. When the output is 0.25, the loop value output is relatively large. When we output negative 0.5, the loop value output is small, less than zero. In this way, the particle spawned in Niagara will have a dynamic effect. Then in time face, we don't need negative output, so add constant bias scale to clamp the output value to positive numbers. Okay, now let's see the shape. Shape face is these two nodes we just used. Add panner, connect it with time face, since the time we output in time face is a loop value. The value in speed will represent the offset of the texture. It's now negative 0.04, so it doesn't look very obvious if we set its value very large. Yes. Let's change it back to negative 0.04, which is enough. Then for the mask part, we first get its whole mask, and add one minus to the mask jaw, because we don't need the jaw in the face part. OK, multiply them together to get shape face. Then the shape jaw, these are the same, but the speed here will be a little bigger, because we need the jaw to have a clear animation, and these parts are also same, we also create a lerp to blend the whole shape, this is the shape jaw. Okay, now we go back to the main material. First, it's normal, just use the normal we created. Then the opacity and refraction, the opacity uses two mask multiplied together, and then multiplied by the particle color, here we also multiply by pixel depth using pixel depth to control the effect of distance on opacity, moving away from the material will make the material disappear. OK, connect depth fade, that's it. Then the refraction uses the blend mask as the alpha in lerp, input A is 1, input B is 1.05, so that the whole shape has refraction. OK, let's take a look at the emissive color, we preset two basic colors, which will make it more ghost face-like, then multiply it by the blend shape, these shapes we just created and the lerp jaw. Connect a deriver HDR from LDR, and finally connect to the emissive color. In this way, we have made a dynamic ghost face material, and we can get animation-like effects without using flipbook, which is pretty good. Then we use the material in Niagara. 
Since this Niagara uses basic modules, we have used them in previous videos, so we will not make it step by step, but show it directly. Okay, so this is a simple ghost face effect, of course, we can also add a trail to it, which may look cooler. Let's try it, this time we use another method to make the trail, spawn particle from other emitter. Yes let's fix these issues. But we can see that no particles are spawned in the preview, this is because we need to make the sim target of these two emitters consistent, both are changed to GPU sim. Okay, we can see it now, but the particles are a little too big, set its size to 10. And optimize it to make the effect better, scale color and scale sprite size. Lifetime is 1. Then set the spawn rate to 100. So there is a simple trail effect. Of course, we can also use our favorite method to create the trail, such as using ribbon renderer and replacing various materials. Here is just a basic demonstration. Next is the time to adjust the parameters. You can fast forward the video. So that's all for this video, I hope you like it, bye.